Okay, sticks, go forth and destroy. And remember, while you're destroying everything in Magic Kill, remember one thing. Yes, we could all go home and just relax with our families, but then we would forget the main reason why we started this war in the first place. We started the war for pride. We started this war for our dreams. And most importantly, we started this war for our land. I say no. If you want to go home, you can walk home on your own. I, I say that we should continue the fight, the battle for what we believe in. I, all I want in my army is for all those who are dedicated to destroy everything that comes into their sight. Oh, remember this, remember, a wise man once said, I am annoyed with the red sticks destroying everything. I refuse to have them raping our women and wasting our men. The only true sticks are tame and selling us whiskey with ridiculous prices and taking our gold enslaving the young and destroying the old but no we will not run to the hills the only time that will be demanded is when we're chasing those cowards back to their homes fighting them at their own game that is right now without further ado this has been your colonel i will run this over to christian the knife hey this is christian the knife welcome to let's play stick wars part six Oh yes, we're soon going to be destroying everyone at Magical, destroying all those who do not wish to grant us five wishes and always say, no, there is no such thing as genies, you're hallucinating, you're eating too much sherbet as always, how dare you lay down on the sugar, lay the sugar, we seem to be fighting demons, my god, they've got pitchforks, how much insanity can possibly behave? insanity dancing around like there's no rules to the insanity all insanity is broken loose okay let's just go okay obi-wan what do we say here that is right obi-wan we will attack and we will soon find new ways for new technology we will destroy our neighbors what was that oh no we've got merlin the stick war merlin we're walking with his walking stick he's the one that is unleashing all his minions. We must put a stop to these menaces. What's this stars mean? It doesn't make sense. I am so utterly confused. We must destroy Merlin before he destroys us. Stop sending us your minions. That is right. We have destroyed you for the last 65 billion times. That is what you deserve is all that you deserve. We will then go back home, eat ourselves some frosties. Remember, this war is not just a war for us. It is a war for everyone who has ever doubted us. I will say this. I will dedicate this war to Trivium, who sadly lost Travis Smith. I don't know, like, why he left, but I tell you what. Travis and Paolo were two of the best pairings of drum and bass like combination that I have seen in so so long yes we can remember those like Flea and Chad and also Claypool and Herb but Trivium is where it mostly stands it was just it's frightful frightening I was just as scared for the future of this band as, as much as I was scared for Machine Head when Adam Deuce and Rob Flynn had a fallout for whatever reason. Why are you moving so slow? Stop moving slow, the archers are destroying you. But it's okay, you've got a shield. The shield shall defend your honor. Yes, their honor is the only thing that keeps us from going proper insane. We will get another miner, for we don't know when this miner, this poor miner is all on his own. No one else wants to work with you today. And you're just part time. You're working overtime, just to sort of like clear off your college debt. You didn't expect to be in a war, did you son? No, you didn't. You did not expect this war to ever. You didn't expect to be called in, but I tell you what, one minute you are just a 15 year old boy, just relaxing, sleeping, playing your acoustic guitar. Rel having a good time with friends next minute you get called into some phony war because your government does not quite understand that when no says no means 
that makes any sense. I hope that that does make sense, for it didn't make any sense to me. We are running with swords now. Watch out, don't run too fast, or you might poke your eyes out. And there's blood everywhere. Yes, that is the meaning of war. To unleash as much blood and gore as possible. Okay, let's just see what else we've got to go here. Watch out for the neighbors, my wonder what is going on. No more kitchen fighting. Kitchens are always mad with each other. We're losing. We're not losing, though. That is such negative stereotypes coming out. That's not stereotypes. Negative pessimism is coming right out of my mouth, which we do not need a lot of. Too much pessimistic values and views coming out people's mouth because they're all confused and scared and they don't know what's going to happen on the school bus once people start learning at their five times tables they will soon use it for the depths and for the whole tapestry of evil we will knit a little sweater and we'll put upon statues and we will not understand why why would we put them on statues people would ask well it's for our own twisted pleasure. We don't have the foggiest clue why we do the things we do. All we know is we do this because we are all selfish. But we do not mean to be selfish. It's just the way we were brought up. And it's just the way things are. Miners, you red skins. Well, red skins? No. Well, actually, they do have red skins. Except it's not the red skins that, that I was... I, that we all know it's red sticks. That's the why I was meaning. Got no problems with red skins. I'm not actually sure if like do they do they actually like still around or is it like the dinosaurs? I'm not too sure about the world outside of my house because I live under a blanket in a bed for just in case 2012 actually does happen you never know it's pretty terrifying thinking about these things I mean right now 2012 feels like it's actually already happened because of all the doom and gloom that the world unleashes upon us and everyone likes to sing songs about stuff which I don't quite fully understand what the songs are about Merlin go away as you can see here explosions he's using some pyro the same pyro that nearly blew up Jason Net J yeah wait no what's his James Hetfield I cannot believe I almost forgot what the name of possibly one of the fine pioneers of thrash metal if it wasn't for Metallica thrash metal wouldn't be as popular as they are even though some people don't like Metallica because they're in the Megadeth ship, I am just a big Thrash fan. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. Like, you, it, it's all it's all the same to me. I will listen to anything. I will Thrash till I die, and then I will Thrash some more. Okay, let's just wait and see what will happen here. Come on, Merlin. We've had enough of you throwing your pyro around. Oh, I cannot wait. It's something. Just gotta stop seeing that hundred video. Cannot wait for the next hundred videos. They will be even more excitement. Will be all unleashed. Next thing you know, you'll be crying. Everyone will be upset, but for no reason whatsoever because we all feel suddenly emotional. I don't know what these stars mean, and I'm still doing nothing. I'm just so excited about the amount of videos I've made in such a short time. People may say, well, people have made more videos. Well, I'm afraid that I'm not other people. I can only be the people that I am, and that is about six billion people who I am today. And it's all excitement. It's in the air. Cannot wait. We're like sugar rushing it up. Everyone is so excited about this crazed war. We don't even understand what the war is about. What is the war about we do not know we destroy the minions that wish we're so close to destroying the statue look at that statue you're so pitiful pathetic with the pyro roaming everywhere no pyro means no gold and no gold means no band and no band means I'm in such a musical mindset today I am so totally going to play the drums I don't even play drums I don't even know how my limbs don't work the same way you see my I, I've only got elbows no arms connected to it. well no forearms no hands just elbows I'm just a stump guy actually that's like I would be called very insensitive, but I am! There's no, I've just got elbows, let's destroy these people. I've got no idea what the heck I'm doing. I'm, I'm so freaking intoxicated. What the heck am I doing now? Stick Wars is not, 
Too much pyro for too much excitement, and now it's a tad bit scary as the minions run towards us. Go away, minions, for I will phone the school, and you will get suspended for about six years or seven years, however long you stay at school, and then you will have to work down wells, saving guys called called Charlie, and Billy's even stuck down the well a couple of times, I'm sure. Oh, come on, am I not finished with the war yet? This war is going to take a relatively long time, and I don't even know why this war is going on in the first place. Why are you fighting? Should we all stay in peace? Yeah, this is a hippie talking you will all be saying, but I will not a hippie. You do not see a pancho around my waist. I use panchos to help other people. Oh no! Doom has now occurred in my village. I cannot believe it. Am I going to lose the very first battle? This cannot be. I cannot believe it. I'm not, I'm, we're, we're completely Useless now. I'm just looking at pure misery. Why? What's what's come to our world?